Today is Monday, December 21st, 2015, and in this video we're looking at some videos by Jeff P, who calls himself Nibiru Watcher. A number of my subscribers have asked me to look at these videos by Jeff P, where he claims to be showing Nibiru, or Nibiru's moon, uh, rising with the sun. So let's take a look at uh, one of his videos. As you can see, he's got several videos here, and um, he's claiming that this is Nibiru, or Nibiru's moon. So let's check out this video, for example. And Okay, let's observing there. the second object. See the trees in the background? I've been catching this on time lapse. Okay, so I just see the trees blowing in the background. Okay, so what we're supposedly seeing here is, uh, as he says, Nibiru's moon. So this is the sun, and this is the object that he claims is Nibiru's moon or, or Nibiru. Now, how do we know uh, if this object is real or not? Well, there is a very simple test that Jeff can do. And this is my challenge to you, Jeff P, to do this test that I'm going to show shortly. Create another video where you do this test called the finger test. Now, if we go back to my channel, Baz of the Cameraman, uh, here is one of my many playlists, and this one is called Nibiru Lens Flares, etc. I've got a number of videos. Some of them are mine, and some of them are by other people. And uh, in this video here called uh, Planet X Nibiru 2015 by uh, BBQ Stew, he demonstrates very well how to do the finger test. So let's take a look at his video. Okay, this is a, uh, a test that I was uh, given by Goose Father. Thank you, mate. Uh, I'm just about to do it. I, I must admit, I already have done it. And, uh, yeah, so here we go. He says, basically, block out the sun with your finger, and if it's lens flare, that dot there, which will always stay there, will disappear. You watch what happens when I do that. Here we come. Boom. The dot disappears. So, yeah, he was right. And if I go to the other side, where the, see the dot there? Watch this. Fuck me. Bit of pep. Okay, so you can see there's two parts to this finger test. We've just seen the second part where we put our finger over where the apparent object appears to see if it superimposes over our finger. The first part is to put your finger over the disk of the actual sun and see if the apparent object disappears, just as we saw at the beginning there. Yeah, watch what happens when I do that. Here we come. Gone. There we go. So that is the two-part finger test. I'll post a link in the description area to this video by BBQ Stew, and you can check it out for yourself and make sure you subscribe to his channel. And uh, also check out those other videos in my playlist. Um, there are a number of uh, very good videos by different um, uploaders. Now uh, this one is also another very good uh, demonstration of the finger test. Nibiru debunked by Dan Deer Jump 94 Let's take a quick look at that one. Okay, I'm just going to move ahead to where he does the demonstration. There we go. So that's quite a good one with a nice bright uh, secondary reflection of the sun. Um, he's actually demonstrating here that one is a lens flare which moves around, and one is the um, apparent Nibiru object which remains in the same position uh, relative to the, the sun. So you can actually see both objects um, on his finger there. This one here, Two Suns Demystified Forever in HD, is, is quite a good video. He goes through, he sets up two cameras side by side, and he actually demonstrates what is causing this second sun effect. Now it's actually layering between uh, the the glass and the and the lenses, and where the lenses are sort of slightly offset at an angle to each other, you get a, a bounce back reflection of the real sun, and this what's this is what creates the the secondary image. So check that video out as well. Two suns demystified forever in HD. Um, you'll find a link in the description area, and also uh, one of my own videos, uh, two suns multiple videos best images. I've looked at several of these um, two sun. Um, videos, Nibiru next to the sun and so on, and I've gone through, I've uh, included various clips uh, which explain what we're seeing, so check that out. But um, Jeff P, that's the challenge for you, is to uh, make another video where you properly do the finger test, two-part finger test, put your finger right out in front of the camera, not up close to the camera, but right out at arm's length, um, and block out the disc of the sun, and uh, then put your finger out again at arm's length, and put your finger where your Nibiru's moon appears to be, 
and see if your Nibiru's moon appears over your finger. So that is your mission should you choose to accept it and we look forward to seeing your results. I'll post an update on my channel and um, I look forward to seeing that. As always, do check out my Facebook discussion page, Voices of Reason to Explain X or Vortex. You'll find a link in the description area. Thank you for watching. Hello YouTube, this is Dazza the Cameraman. Today is Monday, December 21st, 2015. And in this video we're looking at some videos by Jeff P, who calls himself Nibiru Watcher. A number of my subscribers have asked me to look at these videos by Jeff P, where he claims to be shown Nibiru or Nibiru's moon uh, rising with the sun. So let's take a look at uh, one of his videos. As you can see, he's got several videos here. And uh, he's claiming that this is Nibiru or Nibiru's moon. So let's check out this video, for example. And he was okay, let's observing jump in there. the second object. See the trees in the background? I've been catching this on time lapse. Okay, so I just see the, the trees blowing in the background. 